Take you back to the top of the hill and watch the sun go down. So this is going to be a bit bumpy over the grass. Yeah, so uh, I'll speak to you on camera. So yeah, you get the sun on my face. So um, I just read on. Uh, Google that uh, the people of Switzerland are voting to bring in an idea of not just giving the doll expensively just to a few people when lots of other people deserve it as well but they didn't know how to apply or uh, were prevented from getting it so their parents had to pay for their things is to give the money to everybody and it's a huge amount of money they're going to get nearly £2,000 a month huge amount. Now everyone will get it because most people aren't working and there aren't going to be the jobs in the future for people. So why should we have machines do our workforce and us not be free to do other things more important than work? Caring and creativity, entertainment, you know, supporting each other, studying, making inventions, creating new businesses when you're free from working. You can have to start your own business. You have businesses doing services rather than making stuff, our dumps, our rubbish dumps are just full of rubbish, stuff we bought that we didn't need to keep, and we didn't bother keeping. It's a waste of our energy and money buying stuff we just throw away. That's why I waited for this little camera to be invented and never bought a big one for £2,000. This is £60. So I've got that £2,000 still in the bank. But everyone's got their big cameras in their trunk just sitting there doing nothing anyway this is called a this income for everyone is called a basic income for everyone or a basic income for all a guaranteed basic income so when you're born in Switzerland or go to Switzerland you can still work and have a life but they're going to give you this money to spend and the more money of that more of them you spend of that money the businesses will get it, buying, uh, selling you things, doing things for you, travel, whatever. And so all the businesses will succeed in Switzerland. And everyone's going to be happy. 
Yeah, unfortunately, the politicians don't want people to be free from working. They want people to work and tax them. It's in their mentality. But if you give everyone the guaranteed income for life, there'll be very little sickness, very little mental health problems, because everyone will be out spending it having fun like I am. I'm going to be doing. You wait until I come back in five years' time, and the things I'll have achieved, being free with an income. So I'm going to get 2,300 a, a month to be free, because the landlord wants my flat back for two years just to fix up the wall. Knock out a couple of doors. <laughs> Madness. Madness. Anyway, <laughs> the world's full of madmen. See, that's the way it's, and it's in a contract through the court, so they have to pay it to me. Until my building's rebuilt, 150 flats, that's going to take five years or more. I would be dead by then. But, um, so this basic guaranteed income for all, the uh, Green Party wanted to bring it in, but uh, it was knocked on the head by a terrible interviewer from Scotland, redhead guy. I won't slander him. And uh, so it was never promoted. But uh, the politicians don't like it, but the people of uh, Switzerland might vote for it. And then all the carers at home looking after their parents We'll have some money so they can go on holiday too. We'll take their parents on holiday before they die in a wheelchair. I've got enough money to travel around the world every week. It's 600 pounds to Australia and back. <laughs> it's Australia and back every second week. Unbelievably lucky. That's because I stood up to the bastards. I was the last one to get out of the building. That got rid of 150 families over five years. And I was the last one. There's two other leaseholders that they're negotiating with. Because when they hand the building over to the developer, it'll only cost 20 million to do the building up. But if everyone was living in the flats and they had to wait for them to go out every day to get in their flats, it would cost 10 times that, 200 million. They're only going to be able to sell them for 80 million, so they've gone bust. So they'll make 60 million profit, so I'm getting some of the profit, but I'll be suing them for my lost uh, lodgers income, because I was going to let it out to lodgers while they did the work. Go home to Australia. So I'm going home this time anyway. So, um, yeah, so the basic income is the answer to unemployment and to no f jobs in the future and to eliminate poverty in every country on the planet. So you just get a Castile card, or whatever it's called, and the government opens the Bank of Scotland, or whatever it is, for, for, the, for the people of, every, of, of Great Britain, and we all get a Castile account, and every week we go and get our 500 pounds. And there'll be no crime. There'll be no black market because everyone who's not registered for paying tax will have to pay tax to get it. <laughs> They'll have to register and get a an, an, an national insurance number uh, to get this money. Everyone will want it. And everyone in the world will come to Britain, they go to Sweden to join in. So other countries will bring it in because everyone will go to Switzerland and all live happily ever after. <laughs> they won't want to work in in factories anymore in Germany, so they'll bring it in. They don't want to make cars for everyone else. They hate making cars for everyone else because they can hardly afford one. Their wages are so low. That's how they win the, win the, in the world to get the cheapest car made, because they're the cheap labour of Europe, the Germans, silly fuckers. So Sweden is testing it out in some areas of Sweden, so it will actually be working to see if it works. And if it works, this quake is my forefathers tried to bring it in 200 years ago when the factories first started to guarantee people an income because if the factory stops you you starve because you left your farm and your pigs and you're in a house that the factory built for you with no income to buy food so you trouble so let's still trouble the world's in at the moment it's going to be fantastic if we can come up with this brilliant idea because you print money the banks print money or loan